In this video, I demonstrate the crosshair and interpolation feature that uh, is available on each uh, sliced data tab, but also on the overall data tab. Here it's just uh, the order is just reversed. Uh, so what can you do with the crosshair feature? Well, by, if you enable the crosshair by just clicking the checkbox here, then you get a, a crosshair. Um, which you can, the position of the cross you can simply modify by clicking on the image uh, or you can uh, enter the values manually x and y position and if you change a color map for instance and then you're not happy with the color of your cross here you can also change the, the cross here color and then you get the information here on the right hand side where the point is, the k-parallel value, in this case it's 1.49, and the intensity at this particular pixel that you click on. Yeah. And so what is the region of interest? The region of interest is a circular region centered around the, the crosshair um, position with a radius that you can change either here manually or you can also drag and drop here this circle that way and then you get the intensity the average intensity in this circle here yeah? by this number here and the third feature on the cross here uh, box here is the annulus which is gives you the possibility to uh, determine the intensity in a, in a ring like for instance, it makes sense if you have uh, the cross here centered in the origin, and then you can also change the radius, oops, like this maybe, and then you can make the average intensity of this ring, for instance. Okay, um, so what else can you do here? Uh, so this was the crosshair feature. We will use it also later on if uh, in the lesson about the, <laughs> the profile tab. Um, but here I want to explain the interpolation box here. So the, da the, the data that is, uh, <coughs> in this case it's experimental data, can be interpolated to a finer or coarser K-grid. And the resolution can be simply uh, changed here. Here, for instance, I'm choosing a coarser K grid, so the data is interpolated to a coarser or finer grid. And this is one feature, interpolation. And the other one is you can also smooth the data with the Gaussian filter, which, which you can enable like this. And then the width of the Gaussian filter can be adjusted here. So if you have a very, for instance, a very uh, noisy data that you can then you can smooth your data and then maybe also translate it to a finer grid. And then this is, for instance, useful if you want to calculate, uh, yes, simulate or calculate uh, line scans, which I will show you in the next video.